A sea urchin invasion has many in the diving community worried in the Monterey Bay as scientists with reef checks say they're seeing a significant increase in a certain uh, type of sea urchin. And they say that consequently there's a drop in how much kelp there is in the Monterey Bay. Action News reporter Caitlin Conrad was out on the water checking out the problem. She has more. The Monterey Bay is world renowned for its giant kelp forest, but local divers say those forests are being depleted. This year uh, it's become more dramatic that we have lost the kelp uh, that we normally have. On, on Friday, we headed out on the water with Reef Check California to see what's causing the problem. We're going to go down and we're going to get a GoPro and we're going to show you what we're talking about. One thing researchers do know, the decrease in kelp has corresponded with a mass increase in urchins. In areas where we used to see maybe three or four or five urchins, we now see hundreds. I'm gonna show you. On Friday, divers Jan Freiwald and Keith Rootsart dove in to show us how bad the urchin invasion is. This underwater video shows the urchin takeover off the coast of Pacific Grove, where normally there'd be a kelp forest it's just urchins. Johnny and Keith are dropping into our second location at Lover's Point to check out what the kelp situation and urchin situation is here. Urchins eat kelp and just about any other type of algae. This year they've pushed out the abalone closing the season along the north coast. And researchers are worried even with depleted kelp, the prickly purple creatures are here to stay. Urchins are just amazing. They, they totally have my respect. They can live without eating for years. But rather than let the urchins hang on, Reef Check is hoping to get the okay to start a removal program. If, if somebody would remove the urchins or they naturally die off, the kelp would probably grow back, at least here in the central coast. Lots of urchins. <laughs> it's an idea Reef Check has been working on for a year. And on March 6th, it's got a date with the California Department of Fish and Game to move forward on the project. Reporting from the Monterey Bay, Caitlin Conrad, KSBW, Action News 8.